My name is Azad Gomes, Chairman of the People's Action Movement. We sympathize with the families who have lost a loved one during this trying time. Crime and security are pressing issues in St. Kitts and Nevis that require immediate attention. The increase in the number of homicides under the current administration highlights the need for effective measures to address this issue. The People's Action Movement, during its time in the Unity Government, successfully implemented the peace program with significantly reduced crime rates. Unfortunately, the current administration has abandoned this program, resulting in a surge in criminal activities. It is essential to present the data and emphasize that this is not a political matter, but a human issue that demands urgent attention. We must ask, what has changed in St. Kitts and Nevis in the last year that resulted in such a spike in the number of homicides taking us back to 2015-2016? Well, we understand that addressing crime in a country is multifaceted, involving various factors such as social economic conditions, education, law enforcement and community engagement, we must also reflect on the changes that have occurred in the past year that might have also contributed to the alarming increase in the number of homicides we are currently experiencing today. The significant decrease in the number of homicides during the tenure of PAM's unity government highlights the effectiveness of strategies and programs implemented at that time. The successful implementation of initiatives such as the peace program demonstrated that targeted efforts could yield positive results in curbing crime. It is crucial for the current administration to reflect on the impact of these past policies and consider their reinstatement to address the current rise in criminal activities. The peace program is not just a program of throwing cash at the problem. It is the involvement of all parties involved in crime to be a part of the solution. I reiterate, the peace program is not a program simply of throwing cash at the problem. It is the involvement of all parties in crime to be a part of the solution. I reiterate again, the peace program is not a program of simply throwing cash at the problem. It is the involvement of all parties involved in crime to be a part of the solution. The present administration has abandoned the necessary consultative approach and has adopted a heavy-handed, top-down approach to crime, which would only be met with a backlash. The increase in sentencing does not solve the problem. It addresses the issue after the fact. I call on this present government to deal with the root causes of crime and implement strategies for prevention. The discontinuation of successful crime prevention programs and the absence of a comprehensive and cohesive approach to tackling crime under the new administration has resulted in a rapid deterioration of public safety. The abandonment of proven strategies and the failure to implement effective alternatives have left our communities vulnerable and our citizens at risk. It is imperative for the government to reassess its approach prioritize crime prevention and we introduce measures that are proven to be effective in the past. The current surge in criminal activities and the tragic loss of lives demand a renewed focus on the safety and well-being of our citizens. Every individual has the right to live without fear of violence or criminal activity. The government must prioritize the allocation of resources 
and the implementation of targeted measures to ensure the protection and safety of our communities. Only by placing people safety centered programs at the forefront of the agenda can we create an environment that fosters peace, stability, and prosperity for all. This is not a central Bastia issue. I have been in various communities and persons are asking, why did the current administration abandon the successful peace program that contributed to the decrease in crime? Others have said, our communities need effective measures to tackle crime and ensure our peace of mind. One person has said, when a man is gone down at 6 a.m. in the morning, there is no safe time to be on the road. Addressing crime is not a matter of political affiliation, but a shared responsibility to protect the well-being and safety of all citizens. It is crucial to emphasize that effective crime prevention requires a collaborative and non-partisan approach. We are all shareholders come together to develop and implement comprehensive strategies. Therefore, the People's Action Movement encourages the government to consider the following areas. The rebuilding of community police relations, the enhancing of law enforcement efforts, the investing in rehabilitation and reintegration. Effective crime prevention involves not only law enforcement measures, but also investing in rehabilitation and reintegration programs for offenders. The People's Action Movement recognizes the importance of providing opportunities for individuals to turn away from a life of crime and contribute positively to society. By supporting programs that focus on education, skill development, and job placement, we can break the cycle of criminality. The People's Action Movement's People First initiative or agenda involves a focus on building lives and building communities. Our focus on social programs has yielded positive results for the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. The call to action is now. PAM urges the current administration to reconsider its decision to abandon a successful peace program and reinstate effective crime prevention initiatives. Safety and security of our communities should be a top priority and collaborative efforts are necessary to restore peace and protect the well-being of all citizens. It is important and it is time to put aside political differences and work together towards a safer and more secure St. Kitts and Nevis. The People's Action Movement envisions a future for St. Kitts and Nevis where every citizen can live free or free from the grip of crime. We firmly believe that achieving this goal is within reach, as evidenced by significant progress that we have made during our tenure in office. By reaffirming, by reaffirming our commitment to proven crime prevention strategies, we can cultivate an atmosphere that nurtures peace, stability, and prosperity. It is now paramount to prioritize the safety and well-being of our communities as we strive towards securing and building a secure and thriving nation. Together, we can overcome the challenges, rebuild trust, and ensure that every citizen can live in a society free from fear of crime. Let us work hand in hand towards a future where peace, safety, and security are the cornerstones of our beloved Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Thank you for joining us on this episode, the People's Action Movement's Perspective. Tune in for more discussions on issues that matter to our nation.